Hello, my name is Sam Ederly. Welcome to season two of my show, and I hope you're ready for a big change. Now, I consider dyeing my hair bleach blonde as a big change for season two, but instead of giving my parents a reason to disown me, I decided to just get a haircut. So, so. so the big change this season is that this show will no longer be called Common Enemy. <laughs> instead, going forward, it will be called Common Joy. Wow. But Sam, that's a huge change. I know, Sam but let me explain. During the first season of my now deceased show called Common Enemy, I had to try to think of something every week that we all hate, and I found that to be hard and depressing. You see, in my normal life, well, my life isn't normal, but I guess no one's life is really like normal, quote unquote, but in my life, because you know, the show isn't like my normal life. I mean, this is, the point is, I tend to think of things I like. You follow? So while I was doing Common Enemy, I had to constantly think of things that I don't like, and I don't like thinking of things that I don't like, because sometimes, I just thought of something I liked and then put a negative spin on it like Adam Lambert losing American Idol because that title was just an excuse to talk about my love for Adam Lambert but if that show had been called Common Joy I could just talk about him. I could just be like Adam Lambert's amazing right? And everyone could be like yay Adam Lambert is a great singer slash sex icon and it would be happy and it would be a good episode for everybody from start to finish. So here we are. Common Joy with Sam Ederly. A major change to the format of this show but also not really you know. It's basically the same thing. You also may have noticed some tinkering with the way it's edited. I'm trying to make each episode wild. I'm just messing around with it. And if I find out through texts and or comments that everybody hates the new changes, then I'll come back next week with the old way and say it was all a big joke and I can't believe you idiots fell for it. Bitch. I promise you, I will not overdo it with the editing and the effects. It's just a little added bonus. I would never like get carried away with it and just like do too much. So on that note, our first common joy is chilies. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back. Chili's baby back ribs. I want my baby back. Chili's baby back ribs. Barbecue sauce. Awesome Blossom. What? I think we should share an Awesome Blossom. What do you say? They are awesome. You want to, Christian? Awesome? Sure. Okay, it's done. Actually, Megan. May we have an awesome blossom, please? Extra awesome. Chili's baby back ribs. I want my baby back Chili's baby back ribs. I want my baby back ribs. You see, told you I wouldn't overdo it. So, let's talk about how Chili's is the best chain restaurant in America. And if you've never been to the uber black of chain restaurants, then let me run you through it. These are the four main things you need to know about a Chili's outing. Number one, Chili's always has a 10 minute wait. Never more, never less. Don't worry, your table is ready, but it's a corporate policy to have you wait up front so you can get a look at everyone in there and they can get a look at you. Eating at Chili's is a group experience like going to Blue Man Group, so don't show up if you can't commit to something that's a little bigger than yourself. Number two, Chili's operates at 65% capacity 100% of the time. Every Chili's operates in the perpetual capacity of intermission during a Blue Man Group performance. It feels like everyone's about to get back from the bathroom and pack the place, but at Chili's, it just never quite happens. There is always four people spread out at an eight person table when you walk in, and for some reason, those same four people are still there when you leave. They haven't even ordered anything. It seems like a big waste of a table, but does it matter? They're only at 65% capacity. Number three. No one is in a rush at Chili's. Okay, Chili's is not a place to get food in between your Saturday plans. Chili's is the main event, not dissimilar from having tickets to see Blue Man Group. Everything else will work around it. The party is something you make it to if there's time. The movie date is something you make it to if there's time. And your son's Little League baseball game is something you promise you'll make it to next time. Number four. Four, the Chili's menu gives you options because they're good at everything, just like Blue Man Group. Chili's has burgers, ribs, steaks, fajitas, salads, soups, chili, chicken, seafood, tacos, pasta, chips, and pizza. The staple of any good restaurant is excess, variety, and a five-page menu, and Chili's more than covers those key characteristics. You can find something for everyone. I mean, I'm partial to the triple dipper appetizer, but you find your thing. Now nothing, and I mean nothing, compares to the Chili's dessert options. The thing that keeps you coming back is the desserts. The molten chocolate cake and the skillet chocolate chip cookie, both topped with vanilla ice cream, are greater than or equal to any dessert I have ever had at any restaurant at any point in my life. 
There is something about the dessert combination of vanilla and chocolate with the dichotomy between hot and cold that makes me happier than Blue Man Group catching all those marshmallows in their mouths. Whenever life does resume, hopefully soon, I'm going back to Chili's. And I might, I might check out Blue Man Group as well. Thank you.